team cycle from his house to his friend John's house and then onto his school without stop. Average speed for his entire journey was 26 km per hour. Distance from John house to team school is 0.3 times distance from team house to John's house. Team speed from John house to team school is given twice that of team speed from team's house to John's house. Okay, so we need to know team's average speed from John house to team school. Too much of information. Okay, so let's draw the diagram. Team cycle from his house to John house. So let's say team house, John house. And then to his school, team school. So let's say school is S. Average speed for his entire journey 26. Do you know average speed, formula of average speed, total distance upon total time. Formula of average speed is total distance upon total time. So that 26 is given. You keep this in mind. Distance from John House, John House to Tim's, this distance is 0.3 times distance from Tim House to John House. So if this distance is D, this distance is 0 0.3D. Right? This distance is D, this distance is 0 0.3. There's one information. Team speed from John House to Tim School, this speed was twice of team speed from team's house to John house. So if this speed is S, this speed is S. So there is another information. Okay. We need to know team speed from John house to team's. So basically we are looking for value of 2S. Keep this in mind. We are not looking for value of S. We are looking for value of to S. Fine. So now we need to use this information. 26 km per hour. So what is this? Average speed. Average speed is equal to total distance that is D plus 0.3D that is 1.3D total distance upon total time. Now time is not given. Time we need to find. Time is distance upon speed. So this time T1 is equal to distance D upon speed S. This time T2 is equal to distance point 3D upon speed S. So T1 and T2. So that is D by S plus point 3D over 2S. Let's make the denominator same. So I am multiplying this by 2. Correct. So 2s and 2s you can add easily. So that is 26 is equal to 1.3d upon 2 plus 0.3, 2.3d divided by 2s. 2s will come here. Right. So what we get is 26 is equal to 1.3d over. 2.3D times 2S. D gets cancelled. So 26 is equal 13 over 23. One decimal point, one decimal. This is 13 over 10, 23 over 10. 10 gets cancelled. Times 2S. So from here, we can find, okay, this 13 to 23. Okay, everything goes that side. So S is equal to 26 times 23 over 13 times 2. 13 to are 26, 26 cancel. So S is equal to 23. What do we need? We need 2S. So 2S is equal to 46. That is the answer. Correct. So answer this question is 46.